Hello viewers, welcome to the section Machine Learning Using Jupiter. In this section, we will learn about Naive Bayes, Nearest Neighbor Estimator, Decision Trees, Neural Networks, and Random Forests. Now, we move on to the video Naive Bayes. In this video, we will implement Naive Bayes using R and Python. Naive Bayes is an algorithm that uses probability to classify the data according to Bayes' theorem for strong independence of the features. Bayes' theorem estimates the probability of an event based on prior conditions. So overall, we use a set of feature values to estimate a value assuming the same conditions hold true when those features have similar values. Open the Jupyter Notebook and click on New drop-down list and then select R. After that, rename the notebook as Naive Bayes using R. The R implementation of the algorithm is encoded in the E1071 library. E1071 appears to have been the department identifier at the school where the package was developed. Let's see the code now. We first installed the package and added the E1071 library with the repository. Then we added the E1071 library. E1071 is the naive Bayes algorithm package. After that, we added a caret library. The caret package contains a method to partition a dataset randomly. We set the seed to reproduce the results. We are using the iris dataset for this example, specifically using the other iris factors to predict the species. Let's run this cell to see the output. Here, you can see the E1071 package is successfully installed. So, we continue with the iris example with this training indices block of code. We first create a data partition. Then, we train the iris indices. After that, we test the iris where we split the data into training and testing by using the number of rows in each data frame. As you can see in the output, we will split the data into 75% training and 25% for testing by the number of rows in each data frame. Next, we construct out model. We're trying to predict species from the other features or columns of the data frame. Let's run this cell to see the output. It is interesting that the a priori assumption is an even split between the possibilities. Sepal length, sepal width, and petal length have strong influences on species. We make our prediction based on the model against the testing data. Let's see the code for prediction. Now we need to measure the accuracy of the model. Let's see the code. We first set the results from data frame with the parameters assigned to it. Then we predict the accurate results from testing.species equals to the prediction results. We will execute the cell. We end up with a model providing 97% accuracy, that is 36 and 35. This is a very good performance level, almost within the statistical boundary of excellent. Let's see how Naive Bayes works in Python. The Python implementation of the algorithm is in the sklearn library. The whole process is much simpler. First, click on the new drop-down list menu and select Python 3. Once selected, rename the notebook name as Naive Bayes using Python. Let's see the code. Here, we first import datasets from sklearn. Then, we load the iris dataset. After that, we set the data in iris. Finally, we shape the iris data set. Run this cell to see the output. You can see the expected result of the iris data set. Call upon the built-in Gaussian Naive Bayes estimator for a model and prediction in one step. For that, we use Gaussian Naive Bayes block of code. We first import Gaussian Naive Bayes from sklearn.naivebayes. Then we set the Gaussian Naive Bayes object. Finally, we predict the objects. Let's run this code. Next, determine the accuracy of the model by using this print statement. As a result, the number of errors out of a total 150 points are 6. We end up with very similar results for estimation accuracy. In this video, we learned about Naive Bayes.